What's up YouTube? My name is Rachel and I am a spirit artist. I wanted to start a new channel on YouTube because uh, I want to talk about what spirit art is and how a lot of artists out there are actually spirit artists without even knowing it. So first of all, what is spirit art? And if you have a definition of spirit art, like please write it down in the comments because it does, there is a really wide interpretation of what it is but for me it's mediumship in which the spirit wants to use communication with drawing so when i give a spirit art reading i have all of my pencils and everything set out in front of me and i also have my 9 by 12 pad of paper and i kind of get into a really light trance with the um the client will be like sitting near me and once I get into a light trance, I will scan the room for um, any sort of spirit that's like a family member or anything that is information needed for the drawing. So basically any information that I see at the time of the spirit drawing, it will end up on the paper. I will draw it. And I do know what I'm drawing, but not always. It's very like loose I'm not I don't have any preconceived ideas of what the symbolisms uh, p uh, symbols or anything or shapes or anything I'm gonna get I don't know what they're gonna be until I start drawing so um, but if I do see a spirit that's like looks like a grandma I'll draw that person and I'll just draw what I'm seeing and then later I can go over whether it is the grandma or not it kind of depends on how I feel towards the spirit when I'm drawing, like during the drawing, and if they give me information with me, or if um, if there's any communication at all. I also get metaphorical information that's more like along the lines of a story that's being told in symbols or any ideas or any feelings. Um, so when I'm done with the drawing, then I give a summary of everything that happened um, during the drawing and what the main message is in my opinion and the length of the spirit art readings can range anywhere between like 15 minutes to an hour the average uh, spirit art reading for me is about 30 minutes to 45 minutes and um, that's that's what it is and so it's a it's a reading and then the client gets the drawing so the client gets it. I'll show you the size of the pages of paper that I'm working with. I usually work about this size, so this is like 9 by 12. This is example, an example. I drew this during um, a class with a lot of people and I saw some, um, here's some spirits here. <clears throat> and then up here, this is more psychic information, but this is also uh, spiritual beings that I was picking up on. And I'll also give you another example of a really specific person. Sometimes I get very specific individuals with um, very distinctive clothing. So this I drew this a few days ago. And um, I think I know who it is, but I just want to do a little bit more research because I haven't been able to come back to this drawing since I made it. I've been pretty busy. You know, it's like around the holidays now. Yeah, so spirit spirit art is like when you are picking up on messages from the spirit realm during your mediumship reading. And so the drawing is the reading and the client keeps that. And so, um, but some artists uh, use painting. Some artists will use photography. There are different ways to do it. Um, another thing is since I've learned spirit art, I do believe a lot of people, artists that is, are actually doing spirit art when they create art. And the reason I say that is um, during the creative process, um, artists become very open and wanting inspiration to come in. Like it just comes in during the artistic process. Um, even if it's the very beginning or even the midway through, I mean, it depends on how the artist works. But basically, 
Like if an artist is continually drawing the same figure over and over again, and it's not from a model, and it's not like a family member that they know, then there's a really good chance it could be some sort of a spirit-inspired piece. Uh, that's just my opinion. Like I know one artist and she's very talented. I'm not gonna say her name because she hasn't give me, given me permission to say her name. But she will continuously draw the same very beautiful, etheric, ghostly woman over and over and over again. And I'm not sure if this artist is a medium or if they, where this figure comes from, is definitely not of somebody from here, but she continuously draws the same woman over and over and over again. So to me, when I see like that art, I'm like, okay, well, that spirit art. She's, she's being inspired by the spirit, whether she knows it or not. And there is a type of spirit art uh, called inspired art. And so like a lot of people that draw angels a lot, that would be considered inspired art. Um, it's kind of a blurry line to what the difference is. But basically, to me, spirit art is mediumship. Like I'm honing into the spiritual realm and I'm getting that information directly for the client. And also the information that's coming through during my readings is only information that serves the highest and greatest good of the client. It's not just gonna be random information, it's gonna be something that they really need to know right then. So some readings are really hard hitting for the client and then some readings they don't understand why they're getting this information and then they might understand later after the reading, you know, like a day later or a week later, then it becomes clear why they needed this information. And so that's a little bit about spirit art and that's why I also think that a lot of artists who are creating um, certain figurative pieces or a lot of metaphorical information might actually be guided by spirit. So if you have any questions about what spirit art is, or um, how to find out more about spirit art classes, or just questions in general about mediumship. Feel free to write your questions in the comments below. And I hope that you learned a little bit about spirit art today. Thank you so much. Please like my video and I will talk to you later.